Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our legs. Before we start with our workout, of course we have to do the dynamic stretching part wherein I do the greatest stretch, 5 rotations on the each side followed by a deep squat. Other than that, one of the things which I wanted to mention is that if you are watching this video for the first time or if you are someone who has just have seen or come across my channel, you need not go to the history or go to the previous videos and you know wonder where to start start following or start working along you can start today because as much as there has been a sequence or build up to the intensity of the workouts i always plan them in such a manner that you can always begin at any point of the day and start catching on pretty quickly of course the intensity can be slightly varied or you can keep going back to previous workouts if you wish to but otherwise you should be good to go now post completing the greatest stretch and deep squat we move on to our first exercise which would be the reverse lunges what i have done is initially i have started or done a couple of warm up sets wherein i have not loaded any weight on the bar again as you can see i'm doing this on the smith machine as i have done previously pretty easy setup but i have also added a slight bit of you know, height for my front leg which is actually the one which is bending down lunging basically so i have added about maybe 3 to 5 inches not much just to create a little bit of deficit so that as i go down i can go a little bit deeper get a deeper bit of stretch for every repetition now for the working sets, I have done 4 sets of these, 10 repetitions each set. Basically, each leg you do 10 repetitions. Now, I have what I have done is I have done 5-5 uh, five, five repetitions for each leg in every set. So I have done 5 repetitions left leg, then move on to 5 repetitions on the right leg, then again left, again right, take a break. That's one set. So you can build up in such manner. The rest in between can be up to 60 seconds make sure as you see here your knees can you don't have to make sure but your knees can go way ahead than your toes it's absolutely fine the part we are focusing here is on getting a deep stretch and the lower point and also as we come back up we use our glutes to thrust ourselves forward and in that way getting straight here you can see I thrust myself forward so I get straight up, use my glutes to squeeze up and get straight. And as I'm down, when I push up, I use my quads and my hamstrings and other glute muscles, basically the medius and minimus, are working in terms of stabilizing. Now, post completing these reverse lunges, your legs should already be completely fried. But we move on to our next exercise, with its, which is seated hamstring curls, 3 sets, 20 repetitions plus partials. Now, by partials, what I mean is, after completing 20 full range of motion repetitions, we do failure sets of partials. So, basically, the first range partial and the last range partial. I will explain this in a better manner. So, the full range of motion will be top to down, right? In partials, you can either do only the lower range or only the top range partial repetition you don't have to completely contract your hamstring and here you see i'm doing the top range partial wherein i'm not completely pressing down my legs but i'm keeping the weight still under constant tension and i'm doing the top range of partials once i'm tired there i do the lower range of partials wherein i completely press down the weight and don't let it come back up and as you can see in my face there was pain and that's it that's how simple it is and we are going to do the same thing on leg extensions. We are going to do 20 full range of motion repetitions. And then once we are completely fried with the 20 repetitions, we are going to do partial repetitions, wherein first we are going to do the top range, then we are going to do the bottom range. Whichever way you prefer to, it's basically in the lengthened partials and shortened partials. That's what they call or refer to as. Here you can see I started doing the top range basically the shortened uh, partials wherein most amount of contraction is happening and then i start doing the lengthened partials wherein my muscle is stretched and i'm doing partial repetitions here so it it is quite exhaustive 
So make sure you take a break at least 45 to 60 seconds. And we can finish off with a simple body weight step ups. Now this is absolutely a choice. If you are extremely tired and exhausted with all the previous exercises, you may skip this. I felt a little bit better. I was okay to go and I had some time left in my schedule. So I decided to just practice a little bit of step ups, see my stability and coordination and also use that a little bit of glute muscles to help or train them in a better manner. Now this is that again. This is absolutely up to you whether you want to do this or not. It's a pretty simple exercise. You can also perform this on a regular bench. And if you don't have a bench, you can use a step up box. But I would recommend what is that the height of the step up be at least one or two feet because that would give you a lot of uh, challenge. If it's lower than that, it would feel quite easy. So make sure the height is sufficient enough. Post completing these, we move on to our static stretches, which is the important part of our workout. Never skip the static stretches. It's important to hold the working muscle at a stretch in a stretch position for at least 15 to 20 seconds post our workout just to cool down, get the blood flowing. It's a great way to finish off any great workout. And also, I believe that this helps recovery because you tend to get less sore maybe i don't know i don't know if it really works that way but at least i feel better in terms of recovery and that's it we are done for the day thank you so much for watching the video if you did like the workout and enjoyed the workout and the new additions to the routine please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated thank you once again Keep watching my videos. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.